In this video, I've got a really special spiced rum for you. This is actually born and bred down in Devon, down in Exeter. This is Two Drifters Spiced Rum. So if you want to know all about it, what it tastes like, what it smells like, and what my opinions are of the best sort of highballs, the best mixes you can put with this, stay tuned. Hello Spiced Rum fans, I am Steve the Barman and I'm hoping these videos are going to help you drink, serve and enjoy better quality spiced rum. That's what I'm all about. As always, if you're loving these videos, if you've got a spiced rum that you uh, want me to feature in the future, if you've just found a really new and exciting spiced rum, drop me a comment below. I want to hear from you. And also, if you want to hear and chat to other spiced rum fans, make sure you come and join us in the Spiced Rum Club over on Facebook. It's absolutely buzzing now. Links below. Come and join us. Right then, let's crack on with this. This is two Drifters Distillery, as I just mentioned, born and bred in Devon, uh, in Exeter to be precise. They are a distillery, they do distill this from scratch. Uh, born 2019, April 2019, so they're not even a year old. They've got three uh, products from what I can gather, uh, a white rum, uh, a dark rum, and then this spiced rum. A uh, little fact, they were actually a beer at the brewery. They did actually make beer before uh, they started dabbling in rum, and they got so many great reviews about their rum that they just uh, knocked beer on the head, quite rightly so. And all they do now is 100% rum. Now, big shout out to uh, Gemma and, and to Russ. I've not chatted to you yet, Russ, but a uh, big shout out to Gemma. She sent this through to me and she's also sent me a bottle of her favourite mixer as well. This is Lushcomb Ginger Beer. So I'm going to have a little test of that later, plus loads of other mixers uh, to see what my favourite mixer is. Now, a bit of a backstory as well. Uh, Russ is uh, a, a former chemist. Uh, so he's the guy that sort of distills this. Now, the exciting thing about this is they are the first, they are the world's first carbon negative footprint distillery, which basically means, if I think I've got this right, they remove more CO2 from the whole process than what they actually use. Scientists, you're going to understand what I mean exactly by that. The rest of us, you're like me, I haven't got a clue. So basically how they make it, they uh, ferment 100% molasses until that's ready to be distilled. Then they twice distill it uh, to get their end product, which is about 70-80% rum. And then it's obviously, uh, like gin is and like most other spirits are, that it's then diluted down uh, with their filtered water local to the area. So that'll bring it down to the 40% ABV that this actually is it's a proper 40 percent and then they go about spicing this up so they take their flavors which is vanilla uh, burnt sugar which is a flavoring uh, not a sweetener as well there's no added sugar gone into this as well at all so we've got uh, vanilla we've got burnt sugar we've got star anise and we've got mixed spice that kind of go in there and it's all steeped for 24 hours uh, before they take that, filter it, and then bottle it. Can't get this at the moment on Master Remote or Amazon. I can't find it anywhere like that. So go and check. If you want a bottle of this, go and check it out from their uh, website, their distillery. Uh, it's twodriftersrum.com. So go and check it out. It's about £40 a bottle. Uh, and this is batch number 20 as well. Just going to spin that round. I love the little touches as well. Hopefully you'll be able to pick this up. Little little tag on there absolutely loved it so simple but looks really cool right then time to crack it let's see what it actually smells like that is really different on the nose what i'm getting i'm getting a lot of mixed spice come up there but the funny thing with that you get that star anise that just comes up in the back there i'm not getting too much vanilla on the nose it, it doesn't smell sweet to me either. It's just, it's kind of that mixed spice without being like um, uh, what the other rums that I featured recently, the Brew Dog and the Dark Matter, nothing remotely like them, but you do get that big hint of mixed spice coming up. Right, so what does it taste like? Well, this I would give it a two out of five on the sweetness scale. It was quite, in fact, it might actually be close to one. Let's give it a one and a half out of five on the sweetness scale. That was really, really dry. 
Uh, the first notes in this is rum, first and foremost. This is not a sweetened up, um, sickly sweet rum by any of the stretch of the imagination. It is just a proper out and out rum. You can really taste that on there straight away. And because of that, I can really tell that this is gonna to appeal to uh, rum lovers, uh, out and out rum lovers, as opposed to probably the more uh, kind of guys at the, at the proper sweet spiced rum end of the spectrum. Uh, it has got that alcohol kind of bite to it because there is no sweetness in there. So for a lot of people, this is gonna be really hard to drink neat. Um, Flavours though, this is quite interesting. There isn't, it isn't a heavily spiced rum at all. Actually, what I get off there is a little hint of chocolate. The mixed spice kind of gently comes through on, on the finish, but it's not up front and uh, right in your face at all. Uh, Star and East, I'm really struggling to pick out. I get it on the nose, uh, but I'm really struggling to sort of pick that out there. So that is, again, another very, very different spiced rum. And I want to put this in the character, uh, in the category that a rum uh, that has been spiced as opposed to a spiced rum. Uh, purely because the spiced rums, they're kind of a little bit sweeter and kind of going for the bigger demographic, whereas this is definitely aiming at the rum market, 100%. The one thing this is doing now is I've got an ice cube in there. The more sort of... Uh, dilution has added more flavors come out now and this has been sitting in there for a couple of minutes now it's sort of diluted down even more and chilled i'm getting a tiny bit of vanilla that comes out in the back there but the one big i'm i don't know whether i'm right or wrong in this but the one big note i really do get off that is kind of chocolate right spiced rum highball time right so you can see i've had a I've had a good old play with this. I've tried it with uh, quite a few different mixes. Kind of, there isn't nothing really it doesn't work um, well with. It, it's just an all-rounder. Uh, this is their ginger beer. I have to say, I'm really sorry, Gemma, but I've got better ginger beers uh, for you than that and better mixes. I just think that Lushkin just lacks a tiny, tiny bit of sweetness just to bring the whole drink to life. So while it is lovely, it's not. It's probably not in my top five. So that's that's just my opinion. I'm really sorry, that's just my opinion. So I'm just gonna put that to one side. Actually, my favorite out and out mixer I just thought was really, really lovely was actually Fentiman's Tropical Soda. Um, that was my out and out favorite. I just kind of think, it's not too sweet, which is kind of a contradiction to what I'm saying a minute ago, but it's just some really kind of subtle flavors that work really well together there. So I just thought those two were absolutely superb uh, and my top pick. And then my second pick, I actually went for ginger ale. I, uh, and this is uh, Fever Trees ginger ale, I thought that one, I, again, it's just, it's not over fiery uh, in the ginger. It has got a very slight touch of uh, sweetness to it there. Just a really lovely, refreshing highball. Then actually my third pick, uh, and I kind of went cola here, but actually what came out better for me was uh, Coca-Cola's this signature, this spicy one. I really, I did have, uh, I did enjoy it. I really, really like it with Coke, but I just thought the whole spicy note of that just gave the drink a whole new dimension. It was really, really nice. So that was my third pick. And then just to finish up, yes, I did really enjoy it with ginger beer. Uh, I, I tried it with two, uh, well, uh, three if you include that one. I uh, tried it with the old Jamaica as well. Again, I always come back to Franklin's and Sons ginger beer. Uh, it's a little bit sweet with, uh, sweeter without it being kind of old Jamaica sweet. It kind of sits perfectly in between those two, actually. So that actually was kind of my favorite ginger beer serve but i genuinely don't think that that was just really really like that that hasn't worked for a few rums that i've done recently the tropical fentiman's tropical soda but it just worked very well uh, in there so that's my first pick uh second pick and then third pick go and check the two drifters distillery out links in the show notes below Gemma, big big thank you uh, for sending that through Wish you all the success. We want to see loads more sort of English, British uh, distilleries, rum distilleries coming through now. So hands, fair play to you. Love the whole carbon, negative carbon footprint thing. Uh, keep up with that. Keep doing your stuff. Awesome.
Cheers.